Hello friends, once again welcome back to our channel Essential Physiotherapy. In this video we are going to discuss about the brachial plexus. It is formed from the ventral rami of the 5th to 8th cervical nerves and the ascending part of the ventral ramus of the 1st thoracic nerve. The plexus passes from the neck to the axilla and supplies the entire upper limb. To make it simple, I just draw the plexus like a tree which has the roots, trunk, division, cord and the branches. The five roots of the brachial plexus are the anterior rami of the lower four cervical and the first thoracic nerve root. The C5 C6 nerve root join to form the upper trunk. The C7 makes the middle trunk and finally the C8 T1 combine to form the lower trunk. Each trunk then splits into anterior and the posterior divisions. All the posterior divisions then join to form the posterior cord. The anterior division of the lower trunk makes the medial cord and finally the anterior divisions of the upper and middle trunk makes the lateral cord. The cords are named by their positions to the axillary artery. The lateral cord splits into three branches. And easy way to remember this by using a mnemonic, love my life. In this, the first L stands for the lateral root of median. M stands for the musculocutaneous nerve. Finally, the L stands for the lateral pectoral nerve. The medial cord splits into five branches, namely the medial root of median, the medial pectoral nerve, the medial cutaneous nerve of arm, the medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm and the ulnar nerve. I have a request to the students, those who are seeing this video, that I am explaining this in the form of a tree because you people can easily understand the topic. But the actual way it should be in the exam paper I am putting in the last of the video. Now let's look at the branches of the posterior cord. There is also five branches. They can be remembered by a word ulnar. U stands for the upper subscapular nerve, L stands for the lower subscapular nerve, N stands for the nerve to latissimus dorsi, A stands for the axillary nerve and finally R stands for the radial nerve. Ok, once again we have a look on the brachial plexus. These are the roots C5, C6. C7, C8 and the T1. The six roots forms three trunks. In this, the C5 and C6 join to form the upper trunk. The C7 alone form the middle trunk. And finally, C8, T1 commence to form the lower trunk. Here is your upper trunk, this is the middle trunk and finally this is the lower trunk. The each trunk then splits into anterior and posterior divisions. Totally now there are six divisions. These six divisions then regroup to form three cords. The anterior division of the lower trunk forms the medial cord. Here is your medial cord. Then all the posterior cords of three trunks join to form the posterior cord. 
the anterior divisions of the upper and middle trunk join to form the lateral cord here is your lateral cord the lateral cord of the brachial plexus gives three branches and the medial cord gives five branches also the posterior cord gives five branches once again the branches from the lateral cords are lateral root of median lateral pectoral nerve and the musculocutaneous nerve branches from the medial cord are the medial root of median medial pectoral nerve cutaneous nerve of arm and medial cutaneous nerve of forearm finally the ulnar nerve the branches from the posterior cords are the upper subscapular nerve lower subscapular nerve nerve to latissimus dorsi axillary nerve and the radial nerve thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe our channel